Most important. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're standing in front of, right now, we're standing in front of uh, a Schick masterpiece called Palestine Restricted. Here you have the Nazi, this is a, a, a pen and ink drawing that was uh, painted and uh, drawn by Schick in 1944 in the United States. And he's showing the American public that here's the Nazi vulture with its talons outstretched and huddled Jews are before a door. And that door is locked. This is a locked door, which means that there's a door of escape, but not for the Jews of Europe. Why? Because here it's written Palestine restricted. The padlock on the door says the white paper, which is a policy passed by the British government that uh, restricted and limited the flow of an immigration of Jews out of Europe to Palestine. So here you have uh, huddled Jews who are frightened in chains angrily standing by, hoping that some, well, somehow the world will pay attention to their plight. And Schick hoped that the world would pay attention. This was uh, produced in a magazine in New York, in a newspaper in New York called PM Newspaper. Called the? PM, like the afternoon, uh -huh, PM. It uh -huh. was a, a well-known newspaper with the New York Post as a left-leaning newspaper at that time. Left and right always change, but that time. And so this, this work of art is a uh, see a, a lifeless, a dead Jew here with an armband that says Yuda, but Schick has, Schick has painted his name right on that armband, Arthur Schick. Uh, another young fellow has the book of Job, you know, suffering. Why is there suffering in the world? And, and uh, uh, an elderly couple clutching a Torah scroll while the Nazi vulture is descending upon them. Again, with no place to go since uh, Palestine was restricted by the British at that time. This, this work, uh, a couple years later, 1947, uh, appeared on the front cover of a report that was given to uh, President Harry Truman to convince him to support the idea of a Jewish homeland, and it was this very piece that was used. Wow. Fascinating. Good.